First and foremost, no pastor, no pastor curses. It is wrong for a pastor to curse a member of the congregation or members of the church. A pastor doesn't do that. And if you're a pastor and you did such a thing, you need forgiveness. You need forgiveness. You've done something wrong. It is terrible. He tells us to bless and curse not. We bless. He didn't give us the mouth to curse. We don't curse God's people. Do you realize when, when, when uh, uh, Balaam was hired to curse God's people? He was hired. And he asked God, he said, Lord, do I go? So I can, I, I can help those folks who are asking me to come help them and curse Israel. God said you can't curse Israel because Israel is blessed. He said you can't curse Israel. In other words, it's not going to work. It will fail. You can't do it. It's wrong because Israel is blessed. That's what he told Balaam. And so when you curse God's children, you are making a mistake, a terrible mistake. What happens? That means you're doing something that's coming to you. You see, because if you have faith in a curse and you say it against the child of God, because it can't work on him, and you've got faith in it, it comes back to you and works against you. See? So when, when we say to you, don't curse God's people, never try it. We're trying to help you because if you speak curses against God's children, those curses come to you because they can't work. And because you have faith in them, they've got to work on something. And they come back to you and they work against you. So you're in trouble for cursing God's children. So pastors don't curse. Pastors bless. We bless. We're saints to bless. See, we're consecrated to bless. We're anointed to bless. Glory to God. We're empowered to bless. I come to bless you, not to curse you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be unto God.